Hello everybody, I'm Jane and today I'm going to read you the introduction of a fairy story. Now, fairy stories, they're really short stories that are full of magical things and we often read fairy stories to our children. Now, where did I put my glasses? Ah, here we are. Now, the beginning of this story is written in English, but the original story, Hansel and Gretel, was written by the brothers Grimm, and they were two brothers who were born in Germany. So this fairy story is set in a forest, and there's a woodcutter and his wife and two young children who live in a little hut in the forest. At the end of the story, I'm going to ask you some questions. So I want to see how well you listen and how well you remember the facts. And if you need to, you can rewind the story so that you can find the answers to the questions. So, are you sitting comfortably? I will begin. Remember, this is just the beginning of the story. A woodcutter lived in a forest with his wife and their two young children. The woodcutter and his wife were very poor and did not have enough food to feed themselves and the children. One night, the woodcutter and his wife sat in front of their tiny fire and talked about what they could do. Uh, we had the last loaf of bread for our supper, said the woodcutter. I know, said his wife. You didn't sell any wood today. What are we going to do? They looked around the bare cottage for something they could sell. But there was nothing left. They decided that the only thing they could do was to leave the children in the forest and hope that some kind person would find them and look after them. So that's the beginning of the fairy story, Hansel and Gretel. And if you get the chance to go to the library and borrow a reading book, perhaps find that story, Hansel and Gretel by the Brothers Grimm and see what happens next. In the meantime, let's see if you can choose the correct word. I'm going to tell you the beginning of the sentence and then I will give you three words to choose from. You need to decide which word is the correct word that you heard in the introduction of this story. Number one. The woodcutter and his wife were, you need to choose from, homeless, poor, rich. Number two, they did not have enough, now you need to choose from the words, wood, children, food. Mm. Number three, there was nothing left in the house to choose now from the words sell, burn, mend. And the last question is they decided to. Now the beginning of this question is very short. 
they decided to. And you have to choose which ending for this sentence. The beginning of the sentence is, they decided to. Which ending do you think fits? Feed the children. Leave the children in the forest. Find someone to feed the children. If you knew the answers, well done, especially if you only needed to listen to the introduction once. If you couldn't work out the answers, go back over the story and ask yourself, the woodcutter and his wife were homeless, were they? Were the woodcutter and his wife homeless? The woodcutter and his wife were poor. I don't know, did you hear that? That the woodcutter and his wife were poor. Or, the woodcutter and his wife were rich. Mm, even if I didn't listen very well to that story, I might have worked out that that one isn't the correct answer. And what about the answer for number two? How would you have ended that sentence? They did not have enough wood. Or they did not have enough children. Or they did not have enough food. Mm. For number three, there was a longer beginning to the sentence and you had to choose just one word to end this sentence. There was nothing left in the house to sell. There was nothing left in the house to burn. Or there was nothing left in the house to mend. And finally, in the last choice of phrases for a sentence, there were only three words to begin with. And you had to choose which phrase to end the sentence with. Was it, they decided to feed the children? Or, they decided to leave the children in the forest? Or, they decided to find someone to feed the children. Wow, I hope you got all of those sentences correct because I'm going to read to you now the sentences that you should have completed. I'm going to read both the beginning of the sentence and the correct ending. Are you ready? Number one, the woodcutter and his wife were poor. Did you get that one right? Good. Number two, they did not have enough food. Oh, well done if you got that one. And if you put children, I think we need to go back over that story again and work out what they didn't have enough of, or perhaps Talk to me later about the word enough. And number three, there was nothing left in the house to sell. Yes, that was the correct sentence because now they were feeling really desperate and I don't think they would have thought of leaving their children in the forest if they were able to come up with a different idea. And remember, this is a fairy story, so it's not true. Because the ending is, they decided to leave the children in the forest. And I wonder what happened next. Well, if you want to find out, you're going to have to pick up a copy of the fairy story, Hansel and Gretel, from the library. Happy reading! Bye now.